Johnson's got it. He's got the goal. Strahan from hurting him with the running the football. Here's this kick all the way to the back of the end zone. Grant fumbles it out of the back and Longview's going to bring it out the horn of the 20. The second quarter looked like Longview settled in on kind of what they wanted to do on offense. They were sort of I don't know. They, I don't think I'm like you. They couldn't get their feet under them on offense in the first quarter but the second quarter they sort of got it got a system going, got their option game going somewhere. Well, I mean, their their offense has to change with Justin Fagan's out and, yeah. and it's taken them a little bit uh, in, in, to kind of figure out exactly how they want to do it, and I think they have. But I think more importantly, they've done a better job in the second quarter defending Colton Strahan, the quarterback. He hurt them a lot in the first quarter running, in the second quarter not so much at all. Spread formation. There's the Strahan on the run, and around the corner he goes. They got him after a three-yard gain. It's second and seven at the 23. Well, they faked in inside this time. Uh, to Medgar Cole, Coleman, the running back, and uh, pulled it out, and he swept the right side, and he picked up, actually going to give him about three and a half, but it's uh, his first carry, he gets three. Second down and seven. Trahan back to throw it. Tunnel screen coming to Grant, knocked in the air, and almost picked off. Joe Brown was there. He just didn't quite get his hands on it. Longview put the wood on uh, Grant that time. Well, I'll tell you what happened, too, is Grant, it was, as you mentioned, down the line screen, tunnel screen, it, and he actually get, he came too quickly. He was too close to the quarterback, and the quarterback just threw the ball too hard and just bounced straight in there, and they're pretty fortunate that one picked off. Third down and seven from the 23-yard line. Straight hand back to throw it again. Not much pressure. This one is almost picked off again. Nice defense. Cameron Jones was there in his fourth. It's a three and out for Mesquite Horn. Good defensive series for Longview. Two pass plays that were well defended. That time they were in the zone. They had a man uh, underneath and a guy behind the intended receiver. And uh, it goes incomplete. And Longview going to get the ball back on the punt and should get pretty good field position. Travis Thomas will punt it for Mesquite Horn about his 10-yard line. Joe Brown back to return it from about his 40. 14-14 tie with 11-24 to go in the third quarter. Wait on the snap. There's the snap, and here's the kick. Line drive kick to Brown. Caught at the 40. To the far side he goes. Got a block. He's to the 47-yard line. <coughs> That was a nice return of, of a short, of a line drive punt. Well, he's got good field position. Start out on the almost at midfield at the 47 yard line and on their first possession, uh, they start with a really good field position, which uh, uh, it's got to make you feel good if you're the offense. A 40 yard punt, Brown punched it back to the 47. So Longview with a 14-14 tie with 11-11 to go in the third quarter, have the football at their own 47 yard line. 
Red formation. Two wides near side. Dakota Anthony the running back. Motion back to the near side of the field. There is Anthony. Outside he goes. He's got it across midfield. And he got it to the 47 of North uh, Mesquite Horn. Six yards on the carry. It's going to be second down and four. Well, they brought him to Marshall Devine, and he came motion to this side. Then they give the ball back to the weak side. And Dakota Anthony with a six-yard pickup. He's got 32 yards on nine carries. Second down. Second down and four. For a long view from the Mesquite Horn 47. Again, spread formation. Devine is the wing back on the near side of the field. There goes Anthony, got it to the 45. He is two yards short at the Mesquite Horn 45 yard line. Just got him around the ankles and tripped him up. That's good penetration, good defense on the part of Mesquite Horn and pickup of really a, only a couple of yards, third, third and two. Third and two yards at the Mesquite Horn 45 yard line. Shannon Polk in the game for Longview at tailback. Out will come Devine and out will come Poole. Tight end far side of the field. I formation. Third down and two. And there's Anthony. First down from fullback that time, John. Yep, moved him up to fullback third and short. That's a play that he's run a lot this year, and it's always almost always effective. He picks up seven in the first down. First down for Longview at the Mesquite Horn 42. A fresh set of downs with 9.52 to go in the third quarter. Wilson back in the game for Longview at fullback. Devine is at wing back. Here will come Poole in. Fresh set of downs. 14-14 tie with 9.41 to go in the third quarter. Wide receiver far side of the field. Along with the wing back. Tight end on the near side is Olsen. First down and 10. There's Anthony. Right side. Oh, he just tripped up. He had some room to go and he got tripped up at the line of scrimmage. Kyle Boyd, the linebacker. Got good penetration, Brent, and was able to just get one hand on the ankle of Dakota Anthony, and uh, he falls forward and picks up a yard. That's good defense on the part of Mesquite Horns' Kyle Boyd. Second down and nine at the 40-yard line, just across the 40-yard line of Mesquite Horn. Three wides to the far side of the field. Longview unbalanced to the far side. Out of the spread formation. Now they're going to move Olsen back. Longview's got to call timeout. Couldn't get their, their offensive set together. And they'll call time. We'll take it with them. 14-14. 8.50 to go third quarter. Back in one minute. Two. Welcome back, everyone. Petey Robertson play action pass. He's going to go up on top incomplete. That was intended for Tomlinson, but he was well covered. And that's going to be third down and eight. Or third down and nine. For Longview from just across the, uh, from the Skeet Horn 41-yard line. That was uh, kind of a lost play there. It's, uh, threw into coverage and no chance of completion. Here comes Hawkins in the game for Longview. Wide receiver. 8.45 to go third quarter. 14-14 tie. <coughs> wide receivers to both sides of the field. High formation Longview. Two wide to the far side. They give it. Whoa! To they gave it to Anthony, and he was level. Boyd with the tackle. Now Kyle Boyd's got about seven inches and forty pounds of Dakota Anthony. They hit at the line of scrimmage, and Boyd won, <laughs> won that <laughs> that battle there. He won that one. He won that battle by a long way. And I think he's really supposed to, if you really think about it. Yeah. I mean, he nailed Dakota Anthony at the line of scrimmage for no gain. It's the fourth down. Maybe lost a yard. So with eight to eight, 11 to 8 minutes and 9 seconds to go in the third quarter, Longview will punt it away. Jenkins will punt this one away for Longview. Gets a nice snap and gets the kick away. It's a high floating spiral that's going to hit inside the 10. Gets a good bounce. Is it going to be killed? Yes, it is at the three-yard line. Well, that's a great punt. Punts it, and uh, Shepard steps up, lets it go over his head like he should do, but the ball bounces uh, and goes straight left and almost just stops, like a, almost like a pitching wedge, and uh, it, it gonna get the, the, get the ball on the three-yard line, so that's a 
long haul from Mesquite Horn from there. Tyson Dixon killed it at the three yard line, so it was 7.53 to go in the third quarter. 14-14 tie. A great punt by Kyle Jenkins. Three wides near side and one to the two to the far side of the field from the spread formation. Look for them like some kind of quick pass here. Just try to get plus yardage. They'll probably go to Grant. Longview's got four up, four man front. There goes Strahan. He's going to run it. And they, Longview's got him after a yard gain, maybe two. That was Britt Eastburn. He went right down the line of scrimmage and tackled him. I tell you, look, it looks like Brent that, that, that Longview has got this uh, little fake on the reverse figured out where they pull it out. And let's see who's down on the field. That's quarterback is nope is that eight or three i it's think eight. It, it is the quarterback colin strahan who is down on the field we'll be back on 104.1 the ranch in one minute well longview i mean uh, mesquite horns quarterback is uh leaving the field it's going to be second down and eight that's on his own power it's second down and eight yeah this is going to be a dangerous situation though now the freshman is going to come in and take a snap with the ball at the Five yard line. I almost got to believe they're going to hand the ball off to somebody here. They put motion and they're going to give it to Grant, who's tackled back behind the line at the two. Yeah. It is third down, and Longview's bringing some wood right now in this playoff game. Tom, yeah, Thomas John, Jones. I tell you, Brent, they figured out. Uh, they haven't given the ball to their running back the entire game. So, so you either hand the ball on the reverse to the uh, or, or the sweep to one of the wide receivers, or, you, or he pulls it out and keeps it. And Longview's figured that that one out. I mean, as they should. Six fifty-six to go. Third down and eleven at the two-yard line. North Mes uh, Mesquite Horn football. Strahan back in the end zone to throw it. Looks and looks and fires this one deep down the field. It's called at the thirty to the thirty-six. Holy cow, first down. Yeah, they've been going to that uh, play a lot. If they can get coverage on the far side and no middle help, they try to run the deep post, and uh, that has been effective for them. And Shepard with his fourth catch, and that is a gigantic play for them. First down at the 36-yard line. Spread formation, one running back in the backfield on first down and 10. And they're going to give it to the tailback, who sweeps the right side, and he's knocked down after a five-yard gain. It's going to be second down. Jarrell Coleman was the man on the carry. And it's going to be second down and five. Maybe second and six. He might have got four uh, second down and four. That, Brent, that's a trick play. They gave it to the running back. Yeah, that's what surprised me too, John. <laughs> you got to be fool everybody. <laughs> he got six yards at second down and four. Jarrell Coleman is a senior running back. Six minutes to go in the third quarter. There's Coleman this time to the right side. He got away and got a first at the 47. Well, that time Longview brought pressure to the linebacker, Thomas Jones Blitz, and what he did is he ran by the, uh, uh, the, the runner, Coleman, and he cut inside Thomas Jones, and then there was a hole and got the first down. So he got it out to the 48-yard line of Mesquite, uh, Mesquite Horn. It's first and 10, 5.59 to go in the third quarter, 14-14 tie. Three wides near side and two to the far side of the field. Trahan back to throw. Quickly throws it to Grant. Grant is tackled at the 48 of Longview. Four yards on the play and it's going to be second down and six. Yeah, that's a kind of an effective play there. It's just it's almost like a, a good running play. It's just Grant goes out and turns a quick, quick turn in and they just toss it out to him. And he's so fast, you got to give a little ground if you're defending him. Second down and six at the 48 of Longview. Two wides to the far side and two to the near side of the field. Mesquite Horn football. 5.15 to go in the third quarter. There's Grant in motion. They give it on the speed sweep. Grant's going to turn up, stop, turn up, got away from a couple, oh, couple of football. Oh, Let's see if Longview got it. They say they did, and yes, they did. Grant has coughed it up again, John. Yep, Grant. Uh, Jalen Porter. Tried to make too many moves, and then uh, he fumbled the ball and turned it over to Longview's Jalen Porter. So it's first down for Longview at their own 45-yard line. One too many moves that time in traffic. Well, you can make all the moves in the world, but you better protect the ball, and that's what happened then. 
he just had it hanging out there and Longview stripped it and Longview uh, with another turnover. 5 -oh 4 <laughs> to go in the third quarter. 14-14 tie. Longview and Mesquite Horn. From the 45-yard line. Spread formation. Two wide receivers to the near side of the field. Here comes motion. They give it to Thomason. Thomason's, whoa, let's see his whistle dead. Longview moved before the snap. That's going to be a five-yard penalty. And the other thing is that they didn't throw the flag until Longview actually had given away the play, which means that it is a trick play on reverse to uh, throw the halfback pass. So now they've seen that one. Yep, first, first and 15 back to the 40-yard line. Shannon Polk in the game for Longview at tailback, and <clears throat> Thomason will come back at, at wide receiver. 5.01 to go, third quarter, first and 15 for Longview in a 14-14 tie at their own 40-yard line. Two wides near side and tied into the far side of the field. There goes Anthony. He's going to squeeze about four or five yards out of the play. He got five. It's going to be second down and ten. He got the five back. They just lost on the penalty, but now it's second and ten. Anthony got five yards. It's going to be second down and ten from the 45 of Longview. Four minutes and 40 seconds to go in the third quarter. 14-14 tie. Second down and 10 from the 45. Longview's on 45. I formation Longview. Quick pass is incomplete Ooh. and that one almost intercepted. Ooh, that was dangerous as uh, they're going to try to run the uh, two-step drop and throw the out route here to Bubba Poole and uh, Devontae Harris saw it and broke in front. And actually, I think, Brent, if that had that been a good pass, that would have been picked off, or at least the, the defensive back would have had a chance to pick it off. Yeah, it was a little too high, and, and Devontae Harris couldn't bring it in, so it's third and ten for Longview from their own 45-yard line. <clears throat> Clock stop, 421 to go third quarter. we got a 14-14 tie. Need to hurry, Brent. The play clock's down to five, four, three. Play action pass. Bootleg back to the near side of the field. He, Petey Robertson's going to run it out of trouble, and he is tackled at the 47-yard line, so it's going to be fourth down. Try to make a double move as uh, D.T. Jackson had, had run an out route and tried to turn it up, but the problem was, Brent, the out route was run so deep that uh, it just wasn't enough time because Petey, by the time he turned back up, was un under heavy pressure. And uh, that was just, again, that was pretty good defense on the part of uh, Mesquite Horn. It was. And it's Harry, uh, Devontae Harris back along with Ja'Cory Shepard. Fourth down. Longview's got that fourth and seven with 3.40 to go in the third quarter. Jenkins back to punt it away for Longview. Watch the return here. This is... Uh, a spot where they might be able to get one. This one's high and to Harris who's knocked down. He didn't signal a fair catch. Now there's a flag thrown. Yeah, but you can't tackle him before the ball gets there and that's what what happened is uh, Longview's Tyson Dixon uh, tackled him before the ball actually got to him and so Longview's going to be flagged. Yeah, they sure are. It's going to be a, that's a pretty obvious penalty. So that's going to move the ball from the 20 to the 35, or where the fraction was, but close to it. Now let's see where this officiating crew is going to get this ball spotted. It's going to be from the 15-yard line, so that's going to move it to the 30-yard line. We have big catching the first. On efficiency, 15-yard first down. I don't think that, uh, I don't think Harris was going to fair catch the ball, do you? No, it didn't appear that he was. Just going to try to catch it and run it, I guess. <coughs> to the 30-yard line, it's going to be first and 10, Mesquite Horn. 321 to go third quarter. But you can't Four. tackle him before the ball gets no. there, and that's what happened. Yeah. 14-14. Okay, Brent, it wouldn't surprise me to see them go back to that deep post route. I mean, they've 
they've had some chances tonight on that to, to uh, Shepard. Back to Strahan it goes. There's one toss, and it's intercepted. It's intercepted by LaMarcus Lathan, and he's going all the way inside the 10-yard line. Oh, what a huge play. What a huge play for Longview. LaMarcus Lathan, the sophomore, intercepted the ball. And he took it all the way inside the 10-yard line to the 8-yard line, John. I mean, what a giant play for Longview. 14-14 with 3-10 left, and the sophomore, Lathan, made a huge play. At the 10-yard line, Longview will scrimmage first down and goal to goal. The thrown out in the flat, Brent, that's always dangerous, and Demarcus Latham, the sophomore, stepped in front of it, and then his return, he dragged people for about sure five did. or six of those yards and gets it at first and goal from the eight. 14-14, first and goal from the eight-yard line. Motion back to the near side. Robertson's going to run it. He's going to sweep the end, and he is going to be tackled at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, that was run all the way, and they weren't fooled, and he couldn't get to the corner, and he's fortunate to even get to the line of scrimmage if he did. Yeah, if he did. That's what I was going to say. He did, I guess. It's going to be second down and goal from the eight-yard line. 2.51 to go third quarter. And it's 14-14. Lathan made a huge play. It's at the eight-yard line. Jackson wide to the far side of the field. I formation Longview. Divine along with Olsen on the tight end and the wing back. There goes Wilson. Touchdown. Right up the middle. DeAndre Wilson for the touchdown. <laughs> you know. We always, we always talk about if you get in for Longview, you're liable to get a get to get a run, and <laughs> and that is maybe the uh, at that point the biggest play of the game up to this point, and they give it to uh, DeAndre Wilson, who hadn't had a lot of carries this year, and he carries it in for the score. He sure did. 220-pound junior fullback. Here's the extra point by Jenkins. This one's on the air, and Longview's got a seven-point lead. 21-14, 224 to go third quarter. Back on 104.1, the ranch in one minute. Well, welcome back. Longview's got the lead, John, 21-14. Longview making their breaks as Demarcus Latham with the interception returns it to the eight-yard line, and in two plays, Longview in the end zone. The touchdown was an eight-yard run by DeAndre Wilson, and uh, with 224 to play, in this uh, third quarter, Longview's taking their first lead tonight, 21 to 14. Here comes Jenkins with a kick. I tell you, Brent, this goes deep. Uh, human nature is that you try to make a play after a play. Let's see if they don't try to run one out this deep in the end zone. They nail this one out of the back of the end zone. Right. Grant lets it go. So Longview, another effective kick by Jenkins. Yep. He was heading over there. If he could have gotten it, I think he was going to try to pull it out from deep. But but uh, Kyle Jenkins has just canned another one out of the end zone. Uh, I'm telling you, you, this is a team with great kickoff teams, and Jenkins has nullified that by kicking them all into the end zone. <clears throat> it's first and ten for Mesquite Horn from their own 20-yard line. 2.24 to go in the third quarter. Lombie's got a 21 to 14 lead. Here's the give, and Lombie's got him at the 19 yard line. I got to tell you, Brent, they, they've, uh, Lombie's got that figured out. I mean, they, they're going to have to do something a little different besides just faking it and pulling it out and make yards because it, it, it since about the middle of the second quarter that's just plays been totally ineffective and that's kind of stymied their offense in my opinion second down and 11 straight hand back to throw it he looks over the middle and fires this one intercepted. it's almost intercepted by quail Gordon. well that's just fantastic coverage on quail Gord, uh, Darden and and they tried to go the post route, and he just ran right with the intended receiver, who was uh, Cortland Charles, and then he breaks on the ball and, and, and absolutely had a chance to pick it off. 
Third down and 11 for Mesquite Horn from their own 19-yard line. 21-14 Lawview, a minute and 49 to go in the third quarter. They hand back to throw it again. Not much pressure. Got a lot of time. Now he's going deep down the middle of the field. And this one is knocked away. And they're knocked away by Tomlinson. Yeah, they've been trying to do that. They had a little success early, but that time, that was great coverage and just batted away. Uh, the last two plays, Thomason and Darden have come up big at corner, and it's fourth down and 11, and Mesquite Horn will punt this one away. And Longview with a 21-14 lead, a minute and 42 to go in the third quarter. You know, I think the thing is, Brent, I think some of these teams, because of their speed, are used to just every once in a while just say, oh, I'm just, everybody go deep, and I'm just going to outrun them. And, and Longview's got the kind of team yeah. speed that you just can't do that all the That's time. Right. And, and uh, they continue to go to the same type of plays, and Longview's uh, got it, got it uh, figured out. Here's the snap to Tamez, and here's the kick. It's end over end. It's going to bounce. Joe Brown picks it up on the bounce and is going to be tackled at the 46-yard line. Yeah, wow, well, that was a dangerous play that time. Yeah, it's, 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 he was rolling on the ground, and he picked it up with people all over him, and he was nailed right off the bat. But 33-yard uh, punt, he picked it up on the bounce. That's a dangerous yeah, thing, John, but he is. got away with it, and it's at the 46-yard line where Longview will scrimmage from their own 46. First and 10 with a 21-14 lead and a minute and 32 to go in the third quarter. We just don't want to do that too often, Brent, because bad things happen on those kind of plays. Sure do. Spread formation. Wing and a tight end on the near side. Two wides on the far side of the field. Now divine in motion to the far side. Here goes Robertson on the option. Tackle behind the line. Lost three. Well, that didn't fool them. They, they were going to down the line option to the far side, and uh, Jared Tyler, the senior defensive end, was just – way in the backfield. He forced Petey to just turn around and go back the opposite way and no time for that and he loses three yards. Yeah, he sure did. It's going to be, actually he lost four. It's going yep. to be second down and 14. Back at the 42 yard line. 105 and the clock moves here in the third quarter. Second down and 14. <coughs> Snap, it'll be under 50 seconds. Robertson's going to fake it. He's going to look. He's got a lot of time. And he's going to throw this one deep down the field for Divine and complete the five-yard line. Three receivers, or three defenders were there. Divine was the deepest man, but he just couldn't quite get it. <laughs> I think I, he was under a little pressure, but he finally didn't got time. And I think he finally just said, what the heck? I got one guy deep. I'm heaving it. He heaved that one about... 65 <laughs> and he just threw it up and said maybe he can come down with it but they had three defenders around him and he out about 65 in the air he uncorked it they had a lot of people down there one receiver third down and Lavi needs 14 for a first I, that's kind of one of those deals you think well if they probably can't catch that good or they'd be receivers uh, yeah. so I'm just gonna throw it and see if my <laughs> guy gets it <laughs> I don't think they thought he back and throw one that far. <laughs> I, I sure didn't. What a throw. Here's the quarterback keeper by Robertson. He's to midfield. He's to the 48. He's to the 48 of Mesquite Horn, and that'll get it down to the, three, the uh, fourth quarter. <sighs> it's going to be fourth down. Lavi needs about four for a first. Yeah, they're going to let the clock run out. It's 16 seconds to go. Play clock hadn't started for some reason. I guess just, well, I guess because there's no reason to. Longview's got a 21 to 14 lead when we return. With, well, they snapped it. Yeah, they're going to kick it with a win. This one's hit, kicked high and kicked deep, and it's kicked in the end zone. So Longview kicked that one with the win. 48-yard punt, no return. We'll be back with the fourth quarter on 104.1 The Ranch in one minute.